Hey everybody, this is Mr. Um, today I'll be making for you a giant a giant cinnamon roll. Basically that's what it is. Um, with these simple ingredients right here. First you have a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a teaspoon of lemon juice, two teaspoons of sour cream, and a half cup of sugar. It calls for regular sugar, but I put a half cup of brown sugar and a half cup of regular sugar and Pillsbury I don't know if you can see this but Pillsbury uh, cinnamon rolls the Cinnabon cinnamon rolls with the cream cheese and 8 ounces of cream cheese uh, we're going to basically blend all this in a bowl Uh, I would use a whisk to stir it up, but I'm kind of lazy and pressed with time, so let me always work. Basically, want to blend it till it's smooth. Get all the lumps from the sugar out of it. If I'd have did that with, well, okay, I guess I'm done. If I did that with a regular whisk, that would have been a very time consuming. So after that, what I would do with this mixture is put it into a, a, a piping bag. But if you don't have a piping bag, you always use a sandwich bag. Always use a sandwich bag and cut a hole out the corner. And then pipe it like like so. Um, then you're gonna spoon all this out into the piping bag. I forgot to do one thing, y'all. I forgot to preheat the oven. You will want to preheat the oven for at 350 degrees before you even start making. I know it's hot, summertime and all that, but you have to pre preheat the oven at 350. And next, I'm going to put the cinnamon rolls into my pan. You want to spray the pan first with some some spray, some non-sticking spray before you even do this. And I'm going to put this in my pan, so I'll be right back. Welcome back everybody. Uh, as you can see, I unravel all five rolls into a, a big cinnamon roll type thing. Now with the stuff I put into the bag, I'm going to just going to pipe into the loose areas like so.
some areas are more tight than others, but if you want to go back and put more and more places, I always do. So, cause the misses like it. They sure do. Anybody tell you to talk? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. And it also fills out the cake. Well, well whatever you want to call it. If you guys like Cinnabon, this tastes exactly like Cinnabon. Only better. <laughs> oh, I just ripped the bag. Okay, I'm done anyway. Well, yeah, this house is gonna come out looking raw. And put it in there for like 35 minutes and you'll see the end result. I'll show you what to do with the icing and you might need some of this, but you won't need it, but that's what I use to mix with it. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for 35 minutes. It's hot. Ha, 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 ha. Make sure it's on the middle rack, right? in the middle of the oven. And now let me show you what to do with the icing. The icing, I'm going to put this in the microwave for like 20 seconds so it can get loosened up. And then I'll just add a teaspoon of this or a tea, tablespoon of this to it to make it thicker. So I can pour more of it over when it's done. And that's it. I'll show you the end results when I come back. Welcome back everybody. So what I did was took the, the remaining of the icing that came with the uh, cinnamon rolls and took a teaspoon, tablespoon of the cream cheese frosting, mixed it together, put it into the microwave and it came up with a consistency of this. And now I'm just going to spread it any way you want to. I gotta get all out the bowl, you know. I like everything. Everything is everything. And it's your finished product. Guarantee you, you'll love it. Well, thanks for stopping by. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.